Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie. This is pretty much my blush collection. I'm a little bit of a blush fiend. This is the blush drawer. I would say that my collection is smaller than the average beauty guru, um, but larger than the average person's. Um, I guess I'm also a little bit of an eyeshadow fiend because my eyeshadow drawer is also a little crazy. I might get to that another day. Anyways, this is all about blushes. So I'm going to be showing you um, basically my blush collection. Let's get this started, shall we? I'm gonna take this out. I'm not necessarily gonna show you these first. I think I'm gonna start with my non-MAC blushes just because I have so many MAC blushes. I'm gonna start with my NARS blushes. Um, the first one that I have is Gaiety, which is a bright um, like bubblegum pink. It is incredibly bright, um, really, really pretty sometimes like with like a little tossed on um but it can be a little overwhelming then i have outlaw which is like a berry with a um kind of gold shift in it this is a super sheer blush so i can really pile it on if i want to um that is like layer after layer which i do really enjoy um i love this blush in the winter but I haven't worn it in a while. I might put that into my next project pan. I have Orgasm from NARS, which is a pink with a gold shift and a gold glitter. You can definitely see the gold shift in that one. Then I have uh, Deep Throat from NARS, which is a really, really pretty, soft, peachy pink. That guy up there. You can see I definitely like um, my pink. Or at least I really used to. I don't really wear pink as much anymore. Then I have my Tarte blush in Exposed. It's a really just nice kind of like muted mauve. Does that go down there? I think I'm actually gonna maybe turn down the exposure a bit more so you can see them. Oh yeah, that's way, way better. I don't like Tarte all that much. Um, I don't own a lot of things from them. I do own a few things that I really enjoy, but as a whole, I don't love Tarte. But like I said, the things that I love, I love. <laughs> this collection to me was so stupid, but like the packaging is so cute and so pretty. This is the Tarte blush in the color Fairy Flesh. It is a super duper light pink that guy up there just so so pretty I love this one I don't ever wear cool tone pinks but something in me was just like buy the blush it's for sure the packaging like there's like little stars in here you can like shake it up it's like little glitters super cute like this collection was so dumb but this blush this one was this one was it oh and I have four more non MAC blushes um, I have benefit California which smells like summer and I love it. It is a bright peach, so I love it in the summer especially. I have Milani Luminoso, which is <laughs> in my project pan. That one's a really pretty um, kind of bronzy peach color. I love the texture of that blush. And then I also have Wild Honey from Becca, which is a beautiful kind of terracotta-y blush. Again, really beautiful when I'm tan. And then along the same kind of tone, I have the Burt's Bees Warm Cinnamon, Toasted Cinnamon. So there's Toasted Cinnamon, there is Wild Honey. I wear the Burt's Bees one now, even though I'm not tan. Um, it just adds a lot of warmth, which I do really, really like. I use it with like the lightest touch possible, um, and I pretty much just add it with my bronzer. Okay, so now we're moving on to my MAC blushes. So these two are the same thing. This is just a little tester panel. Um, the highlight in here is broken and I did repress it, but it's super duper sensitive. And I don't know how I'm gonna get this into here, but I'm gonna try and do that. This highlight shade is beautiful. Um, I believe it's called Tutu. Yes, and then the blush is called At Dusk right here. That's just kind of like a mauve color. It is really pretty. I also have a couple cream products. Um, this is the Quick Trick Stick in Ginger Spite and Counterpoint. So, Ginger Spite, Counterpoint. And then I also have the colors Miss Cupcake and Tomato. 
I love how creamy and smooth these are. They glide on really beautifully, so I do love these. This is the Shiny Pretty Things Face Compact in Fair. So it's the highlighter in String Lights, the blush in Sweater Weather, and the bronzer in Five Alarm Kiss. Um, I like the bronzer. The highlight is okay. The blush. This blush is kind of my mortal enemy. Um, it's a really similar color to California. I love California, but this blush looks weird on me for some reason. And I wish that it just was a different color because I don't think it fits. Like this goes on kind of bright. So to me with like the really like subtle bronzer and the really subtle highlight, I just felt like this was really out of place. And I think a nude blush would have um, better fit this palette, but. This is the Mother of Pearl um, Pearl Matte Face Powder. This is from Mirage Noir. It's more of like a, it's a face powder. So you can use it for, I mean, you know, whatever you want to use it for. It's really soft and kind of peachy. I would definitely say a, a bit of a blush, but you could also, if you have a deeper skin tone, probably use it as a highlight as well. And then I have Just a Wisp Mineralized Blush. I had to, um, break this and repress it. I bought this super recently. This was my most recent MAC purchase from a few weeks ago, I think. And it was the last one in store. This color is getting discontinued, so I was like, okay, I gotta get it today. Like, I'll see if they have it. There was one left. I dropped it in the store. I didn't think anything of it. I got home and it was shattered. I really like using this more as a highlight. You can see it's super duper iridescent. It's like a silvery pink. But you, it's, I mean, it's supposed to be a blush. Um, I do like using it on the cheeks also as a blush topper. It's really pretty multi-purpose to me. I have three more face powders. This is the Flatter Me Pearl Matte Face Powder. This is from like 2013 maybe, 2012. This is from the Arches Girls collection. Um, super duper ancient. I bought this when I was in high school when I went to the event. That one is a super duper light peach pink. Then I have Oh My Passion from the um, Fruity Juicy collection. This is another pearl matte face powder. Again, another kind of like peachy bronze. Depending on your skin tone, you can use it as a bronzer, a blush, or a highlighter. This is the powder blush in I'll Hold My Breath. So it's like a bronzer blush kind of two in one. This is from the Ellie Golding collection five ever ago. This looks great when I'm tan. This is Dainty Blush from MAC. Um, it is a mineralized uh, blush. These are really nice. They have a great texture to them. That I swatched right down here. That is Dainty. Just like a really pretty kind of soft pink. Then I have Bubbles Please, which is another mineralized blush. This is a bright pink. Uh, you just need like the softest touch with this one. A little bit goes a long way. This one's Ray Beam. It is a really soft um, peachy blush. Again, it is another mineralized. This is Perfect Bronze. It is like a dual, like another like bronzer blush type of deal here. This I think is from the Jade Jagger collection. She just released a bunch of like mineralized stuff. Again, this one looks really, really good when I'm tan. Warm Soul, my baby. This to me is the most perfect blush of all time. It's a beautiful, warm, rosy, bronze kind of color. Um, it just goes well with multiple skin tones. Um, I can wear it when I'm at my fairest and also when I'm at my tannest, my most tan. I love a lot of warmth in the cheeks, so this to me um, really does it. This is Petal Power. Um, it is a kind of gold pink shift really similar to NARS Orgasm, but this doesn't have the like flex of glitter in it. It's just a nice sheen, um, has a really beautiful glow to it. Looks beautiful in the winter. It gives that like really fresh, like I just came in from outside type of blush and I just think it's super cute. All right, fresh, clean, ready for swatching. The man, the myth, the legend, fairly precious blush. I didn't do a favorites video this year, but if I would have, um, this would have been it. This is the most beautiful reflective blush ever. Like, just look at how like reflective that color is. It's a beautiful, like bronzy peach. It goes really, really well with um, my skin, even when I'm really fair or when I'm really tan. 
It has the most beautiful, healthy flush ever. The Extra Dimension blushes are the most underrated formula, hands down. Um, I'm obsessed with this. It just is the prettiest, healthy glow. I just, I love it so much. Then I have Gingerly, which is another warm terracotta blush. What can I say? I love me a really warm terracotta. This is another extra dimension blush. This is in the color Rosy Cheeks. I have many, many bright blushes just because I think they're so fun. And sometimes when you just like, I don't know, I just love unique blushes because sometimes you just need to do a look. You need like that really cool blush. And you know, when you have one on hand, like it just completes a look like no other. Just blushes just but that's just such a, another extra dimension blush, so it's really beautifully reflective. This is the color, this could be it. This one is more of a matte, but it is a beautiful, like, fuchsia. This one, because it is a matte, you kind of have to build it up more and more, but it's a really, really cool, like, purpley fuchsia. Then I have Peaches Blush, which is pretty much just a warm orange. I love this color a lot. Um, in the summertime especially, I just think it's so, so pretty. This is another extra dimension blush, another really like fun color. This is called Wrapped Candy. It is a really pretty purpley kind of color. Again, it's got that same gorgeous shift that um, the other extra dimension blushes have. And what I love about these is that you can sheer them out really well too. Um, if you just take like the littlest bit, uh, this can go on as a beautiful just glow. Just taking a little bit and just like. Just adds that like extra bit of color. Again, it doesn't have to be like really heavy handed. And then I have Margin Blush, which I don't wear as often, but I do love this color. This is in the same kind of color family that I like to reach towards. Um, again, I really love shimmer. So I, you know, classically would reach towards something like this because it's almost like if I mixed all of my warm terracotta blushes with all of my um, shimmery peach blushes I love. Like it's just a really pretty like nude with a slight shimmer. It's like, again, if I mix it together like gingerly, warm soul, um, fairly precious, like just all together, that is what it would be. It's so pretty. This is the blush called Hypnus from the Wash and Dry collection. This is a really, really pretty kind of like warm peachy pink. It reminds me a lot of Deep Throat from NARS, which I really, really love. Love wearing that blush in the spring. I'm gonna switch arms. This is Mocha from MAC. Just a really pretty kind of cool toned mauve pink. A beautiful blush on fair skin tones for sure. Then this is Prism. It is a kind of neutral taupey blush. Again, another beautiful blush for really fair skin tones. Cheek Pollen, which is another warm terracotta blush. This blush right here is called Life's a Picnic. I think this is from Flamingo Park, which was a limited edition collection. Some of these are limited. Um, they're not all permanent, but this one was for sure limited. Um, it's just a really pretty, like, bright pink blush, almost red. This one is called uh, Let's Be Friends. This one is a bright pink blush. That one's really, really fun also. This is Spellbinder, which is a really, really, really pretty, like super light peach color. It's like almost nothing, um, but that's why I like it so much. This one is my first ever MAC blush. I could not tell you why I wanted to get a red. That's not true, I could tell you, um, because I was obsessed with like pinup makeup. I, I loved it. Like red lips, red cheeks, bold wing liner. I thought that was it. This one is called Fairly Precious. I have had this forever. Hello. That blush is actually called Frankly Scarlet, um, but I'm dumb as hell, so I called it Fairly Precious. Um, I'm pretty sure I also messed up the name of two other blushes, but we're just going to have to live with that. But straight up, like, look at the pigment of that blush. That is... That's a blush. This one is Blush Baby. It is a, another type of nude kind of blush. Very neutral, not leaning more cool or warm. This one is the Extra Dimension Blush in Faux Sure. This is kind of like a metallic brown. Um, I love using this as a bronzer topper. Uh, when I am tan, it looks 
so good. This one is called Blush All Day. This is a Pro Longwear blush. They have been discontinued. I'm running out of room again, oh my god. We're almost done though. This one is Spring Sheen. It's another one of those like metallic, um, like peachy pink colors, like Orgasm, um, like Petal Power, um, colors like that, you know what I mean? But this is definitely more gold. This is Love Child. It is a super pretty, like soft pink kind of blush. I have two more. They're both extra dimension blushes. Ooh, I love this one. This one is called Into the Pink. It's just the most beautiful metallic silvery pink ever. Again, it has that same kind of iridescence as the rest of them. And this one is Telling Glow. Again, another one of those like pink gold, like rose gold type of blushes, but this one is more like orangey. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shift. Um, I love, here we go, that's a better, it's a better look there. I love this color. Super bright, again, beautiful in the summer um, and on tan and deeper skin tones, uh, stunning. Holy hell, that was um, <gasps> all my blushes. Like this video if you like blushes as much as I do because holy shit, I love blushes, clearly. If you did like this video, of course, give it a like. And if you'd like to see more of me and my collection, just hit subscribe um, and you can uh, check out more. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope it's not too long. Probably will be. We'll see. Anyways, I will see you on the next video. Um, goodbye.